make a bit more. It's kind of bunching up at this end here, so if I get some of that and put it on this end here. Don't want like it's you don't need a whole lot of this because it not that it would do any damage I suppose, but you don't want to get in all over the electronics and stuff, but we will put a little bit more. A little bit on each engine, I really got. I had done it for other systems and it's worked absolutely fine. They had issues with JVC one, it, had, it kept jumping about everywhere. I, I put it on there like this, and it was like, Oh, this is working okay. And once I work that in. Then what I'll do is I could try clean the lens, but it's not advised to do that because if you harm the alignment, it will be impossible to get it to go back if you bugger it up. So that's probably more than enough actually. I think I don't want to put any more on there. Okay. A little bit on these, um actually a little bit there wouldn't go and miss on those. Uh, this bit here, just a little bit. It not do any harm to they just put a little bit of this stuff on there when they, oh this bit here, oh yeah look at that, there, this bit here, let's dry, I've got the tissue, I'll take the old stuff off, all over, okay. again this is not a guide so don't take your expensive Italian one to pieces and go, oh look this guy on YouTube, he did this thing and he put, it's not a guide, alright, just don't, just, if you do it, you know, this is old, this is like 20 years old, this thing. I'll put a bit on that side, so. Oops, no, that's not right, is it? There's their physical things, I mean, modern equipment is all electronic, and there's no, sorry, stain, nothing moves. And then, um, what's that moving up and down there, then? Okay, there's a little, what the hell is that? So if your CD player is playing up and you're happy to fiddle around with it and it's quite old and it doesn't really matter if you break it and you've got nothing to lose, I would say get a bit of lithium grease from a bicycle shop. That's where I've got mine from anyway. And just stick it in and then it usually should cure that because... What's that? I don't know what's going on with this other side. I've had this quite a long time and I've only used it fairly recently as a CD player, but it... There's a little bit of... Right, there's like a little underneath there. There's like a little... But it's slightly touching. I might as well just put a little bit on. That's... It should really have two rails, but it's only got one. Just a bit on there. He didn't even do that one, I was like. The only way I'm going to know is if I play a CD, I was playing some CDs earlier, and it's fine for like two or three tracks, and then it'll suddenly just stop and go wee 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 wee. And it just does it on and over and over, and then it'll loop, it'll carry on again, and then it'll just completely, it'll just give up. So I want to try that. Okay. Just working that backwards and forwards. And then what I'll do is um, just take the excess off of that because it's a little bit. Quite tedious, this, to be honest. Bit there. You could use graphite because pencil lead is graphite and it's a lubricant, but I don't think it's as good as this stuff, to be honest. Incidentally. Blowing that out, but okay, yeah, I think I'll do it. So I lubed up that rail, that bit there, and this bit here. 
Right, I just noticed underneath, right inside there, there's like a little bit. That's the, the laser is like there. There's like a little bit there. Can we see it? Put a little bit more in there. And so it's ready to go. So that is the finished, reserviced, lubricated unit that goes in there. So I'm going to put it back. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, putting it back together is more fun than taking it to pieces, apparently. Um, I didn't know it's not, is it? It's got these little things in it. Yep, that's got it. Right, I'm going to put this back together. So, um, let's test it out. Right, I'll put it back together from completely. I'll just put the, um, that's back in to the top part, which is where the CD lives. I want to keep that shot. I don't want to accidentally touch the lens. So, uh, Got to put, hang on a minute, I've got to put that. Oh, I've got to get. So that's the insides of the thing. And this is like the front part. I can tell which bit it is. This bit goes into there like that. So. I remember it just. So it forms that. This bit forms that. And then I've got to put two screws into there. I need to do that now. I don't want to, let to risk damaging. Oh, I had to unplug something, didn't I? What did I unplug? Um, oh, right. Hang on a minute. No, right. Yeah. Um, avoid scratching the front of that. Because um, I need to put it back together without plugging that back in there. Damn. See, that's designed then to come apart in such a way that you plug it back in that way and then you can then... You know, I didn't do that. I want to turn it on and go, oh no, it's not working. I want to do it because you're in the middle of something. Where does that go then? Where did that go? Hold on a minute. That went somewhere. And if I just put that on a knot, that went. Where did that go then? Oh no, that went somewhere. Oh. Welcome back, I just made a mistake. Um, I just took this out again from, from there, which is really hard, and I thought that this went into there and it, it doesn't go anywhere near because I didn't take the I didn't take the bottom off and there's nowhere it goes. It goes into the top. It detects the the top ish if the lid is closed I think. It goes there. I just have to watch my video back on the camcorder because I haven't finished recording it. So I took that out for no reason. Oh, I've got to put it back in because when you put it back in it it goes in there. It fits back and this fits into here, and you got these like grommet damper damper things, and you've got these bloody great screws, and then I can't get them in because they're recessed. And it's like really not. So I got to put that back in. That doesn't go underneath the CD. It goes to the top to sense when the door is closed. Right, I'll carry on. Right, I've just put it back in the second time, so it's back in there. So that thing goes to the thing that senses if the door is shut. Um, if it goes in, I'll plug. I'm going to get it so it's, that's the back of the thing, and this is the top, and that's the front underneath. If it goes in, got to plug. Uh, 
plug that. Can't really see from where I'm at, but to plug that in. Yeah, it is very serviceable. It's like it's built to be serviceable. So I've got to get, okay, that is there, you can't really see this, there's like a little plug connector, right there. Yeah, I didn't know that where that went, that senses if the door's open. Right, so what I've got to do now is down front there. Yeah, what I made the mistake was when I took it to pieces, I took these out first and then I took the top off. I think it was assembled slightly outside of it. Then they did this earthing wire after they put it in. And I'm trying to preserve that. It's just an earthing thing. And so I've just taken it back out again because it's loose from the from the body of it. And then I'm gonna put the screws in because the little plastic um, things, the feet for the screws, where the screws go, were in the wrong place. And I thought, well, I don't want to bust the board because it's a very tight fit. So they must have done it this way around when they made it. And they had two separate halves, the CD player with the, with the radio and the main board. And then the speakers and the transformer were separate. And I've done it the wrong way round, but that's my mistake because that's how I took it to pieces. You take it to pieces different day, you put it together. That's it. So that went in there. That's it. I want to break this one. I could, I, I've got a soldering iron, um, and it wouldn't be difficult to put it back on. But I really don't want to do it if I don't have to. So, and there was, wasn't there? Wasn't there another two screws? Hang on a minute, because it's kind of attached to the. Yes, there was. I'm sure there was another two screws. I don't even bloody design this one, but it... It was... Man... There was like these pads, and on under the pads was... Yeah, yeah, there's another bloody screw. Can't really see it. There's like a... Right where the top of the speaker is, there's like a little pad. Can't really see it at the top. So I'll put that in and then I'll continue on. I managed to get it in. Everything was fine, but I broke the earthing wire, which is soldered to there. So I have got some solder. I've got a solder knife. Not very good. It's a really weird one. That, um, it's a really odd one. It's like the end's made out of copper and it melts the end eventually. It's like it's disappearing. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just take this off of here. Get my soldering iron out, which I don't like using because it doesn't really work very well. This is not coming off. I want to cut this. And I'll really solder that. It's, it's an earth thing, thing. I don't really want to omit it because it could be not coming off with my snips for some weird reason. 